My name is Alicia Salon. Um, I most of you guys call me Alice. I am from Local Fifty Six Chapter Eight, and I have been five years with AUPE. It would be my grandma. Um, her name is Victoria. My grandma. Um, I grew up in an era that form of discipline is through sticks, ropes, belts, and other form of beating. I thought I was disciplined the most. Growing up, I questioned myself. Am I bad? I cried. I did a lot, a lot of this crying alone or with grandma. Grandma was loving, caring, stood by me, protected me in all cost. Growing up, I did not know it was abuse. I knew it was discipline until a year ago. For a girl that has very low self-esteem, Growing up, I was loved by only one person. I grew up with a huge heart to love, to forgive, to care so much for others. I remember grandma will say, do not hate them. They love you. They are just mad at the moment. They will come around. You are loved. You are beautiful. You are smart. And you can do everything if you put your heart into it. And a little girl I never questioned those. I excelled in school, in life outside the house. I have my voice outside my home, but I am silence at home. I show happiness and wit with everyone, but deep within, I crave for love and attention from my own family. Through the self-improvement and therapy sessions that I did, I realized all this good behavior and my huge heart was the work of my, my grandma. She prepared me to be this woman that I become. I did not mourn her properly. And last year I did. And now I speak about her. I am happy. I am celebrating her life now. She's always watching me and she's extremely proud of who I become. Exactly how she has spoken before. Advice to my young me, I wish I was stronger. I wish I spoke more of my pain. I wish I resisted the abuse, but I was not able to. But because I'm adult, Alice, I want to tell the little girl, Alice, that I am here all times. I am here to protect her, love her. She doesn't have to be scared. Grandma and me loves her unconditionally and will always be okay. I am who I am now because of all the pain, the tears, the rejection when I was little, it, it made me indestructible an adult. I am stronger, braver, smarter because of all the pain and hardships. And through it all, I was blessed by a savior to my granddaughter or to my kids that will never be alone. I'm always here to love and protect them at all costs. Life is not always fair, but life is not all butterflies and roses. Those misfortunes and hard comings either break us or makes us stronger. I choose stronger. And even if you are in the darkest hour, there is one person that believes, supports, loves, and stand by you through it all life would be better, life would be easier. We need to stand together in one fight and show them we mean, bis we mean bis business. We will not stand down and we will not take no as an answer. Every voice counts. Only if, if we fight together is when we stand together. It is hard, but it is not impossible. Every single one of us plays a role, everyone, plays an important role of achieving our common goal. It doesn't happen overnight, and we might hit a few or lots of stumbling, stumbling blocks, but when we stumble, it should make us stronger. And sometimes if one of us or a couple of us becomes weak, we can lift them and make it through. We unite for one goal, we fight, we show them our voices and actions big or small. This is the only way they will know 
we mean business and we will not stop until we attain our goal. United we rise, divided we fall. We are stronger together. We are the women of the new era. These women are the queens. We are forced to be reckoned with. No one messes with the queen. I am a mother. I am a daughter. I am a sister, a friend, a coworker, an auntie, a grandma someday. I am a woman of color. I am strong and I will fight in every way possible for everyone's right.